Hey everybody, Sean and Drew again. We're, we're back. Uh, we got something that we want to share with you guys this week. We're actually going to do uh, some stuff. It's about uh, parables. And we're not sure how many of you know maybe what parables are. Um, but uh, the best way we can describe that for you is that it's, it's earthly stories, examples, uh, that have a heavenly meaning. And, and it was very popular uh, with Jesus. That was one of his main points when he ministered. He a lot of times used a parable. Um, and so it was to make a point. And it was so we could connect to it and understand it better. Mm -hmm. Instead of coming right out and saying exactly, um, you know, word for word what, what he's trying to get across, he uses a story to tell that. Um, one of the examples we looked at was the tortoise and the hare. Uh, tortoise is like a turtle. It's a fancy name for right. a turtle. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. But it's, they, they race each other. Ethos fables. Look that up. We won't go through the whole thing. Uh, but uh, there's a moral to the story. The, the story itself is a story, but then there's a, a meaning uh, behind that. That's what Jesus did, again, a lot of times in his ministry to teach stories to, to people. Um, Parables, they can be short, or they can be long. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, today, during the video, we're gonna show you some different parables that we use, and we're gonna start with something short. Hope, Hope you enjoy. enjoy. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Run it, run it, see 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 it, Good looks. Like a butterfly. That's an eagle. Oh, he's going to eat this kind of jellyfish. I'll fly away, oh glory. Hello, my name's Malachi, and I'm the inventor of the My Pillow. Nothing will give you a heavenly night's sleep like one of my new My Pillows. It's now available in three sizes small, medium, and our newest, large. If you buy, heck now, and if you buy all three sizes, I'll throw in a free my pillow mattress pad topper. Okay. It's free, but you have to pay the shipping and handling, of course. Visit our website at www.mypillowisarock.com and choose any size for the low, low introductory price of one shekel and two denarius. Tonight on the Jerusalem Basketball Association on Mount Olive Sports, we have a double header of conference deciding matchups. First, at eight o'clock, we have the main event the visiting Philistines and their star center will take on the underdog Israelites who have home valley advantage. But will it be enough to overcome this true David versus Goliath matchup? At 10.30, we will feature a game that nobody cares about. The last place Chaldeans will visit the Moabites who are fresh off a stunning defeat in the first place Rome. Do you have trees that need to be trimmed? We are experts. Look at how our owner Zacchaeus has scurried right to the top. Also look how friendly he is. We have been trimming trees and landscaping for 2,000 years. Go check out our work all over the Holy Land, including our most famous work, the Garden of Gethsemane. Remember our motto, if it was good enough for Jesus, it should be good enough for you. Visit us online at www.weclimbtrees.com.
Use code GLENMACISAWESOME for 15% off purchases of 200 denarius or more. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. Which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Matthew's Accounting Service. Need taxes done by someone you can trust? Been taken advantage of by those other accounting services? We understand. Mainly because we used to do the same thing to you. Don't worry, don't worry. We don't now. Having the all-knowing creator of Earth as your BFF changes things. Give us a call at our new number, five, so we can help with claims from how many sheep you use and sacrifices to buying a new improved fishing boat. Call today. Are your sandals worn down? Do your feet smell like leather mixed with Cheetos mixed with donkey poop? Come into Jethro Sandals Repair today and we will clean them with soap and water. Free living water with each new pair. Or you could buy a pair from our new fall covered toe line of sandals, AKA boots, made of the finest serpent skin. Finally, a good use for that old codger. Call two and ask to speak to Jethro. Jonah's fishing lures. The other guys claim to be able to catch the biggest fish but no one knows fish inside and out like Jonah. If you haven't caught fish in three days and three nights, get your money back. Call us today at 10. What man of you having a hundred sheep if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over 99 just persons which need no repentance.
Lamb Chop Elizabeth Mullins Bowling Short Sturgill. When I find you, it is gonna be on whammy. Hmm. Everything but lamb chops up here. Oh, good grief. That's a wise man, another wise man. Do you find yourself in need of a razor for a children's church video? We know just the gal. Ross at Ross's Razors. No time for a shave or plenty of time stuck in prison, then Ross's Razors are for you. Look how sturdy that thing looks. It would take the beard off a first century Israelite in no time fast. As an added perk, you can unroll the razor and use it to cook on your grill. Ross's Razors, all rights reserved, patent pending. No refunds for festered hairs, bulls, or faulty products. Jerusalem City donkeys, Jerusalem City. We're healing! Eel, eel! We want to see you on a donkey! New locations to serve you in Bethlehem and Nazareth, but never Samaria. Old OO inventory has to go for the new O1 models coming in. Bad credit? No problem. We do unto others as we would have them do to us. Financing issues? We do 33 years. Call us today at 3. Paul's Tents, quality is our number one priority. Whether you need a tent for traveling in the wilderness for 40 years, or just a loner for your young man's bar mitzvah, we have the tent for you. Visit us on the Damascus Road and check out our new inventory just in time for that summer missionary journey. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, thou hast rightly judged. I mean, how much would you like a war if you did, though? Oh, you know, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot. More than me, probably. Oh, yeah. Hands down. I dig it. It's fishy. Very nice.
Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. I'm clocking it. Oh man, I wish I had some fish. It's not, it's not good, but at least it's free. Come on down to Moses' Manor, where our manna is new every morning. We do stand behind our product. Just don't try to keep it overnight. Seriously, don't. Unless you like maggots. I mean, we don't. It's not named Moses' Maggots, you know. Round the corner, round the price. Come visit Joe and me today at our new location at Samaria City Camels. We're on our new improved camel. Our competition may want to see ya on a donkey. But who wants a stubborn old donkey? Well, you can have a new O2 model camel. Come check out our two hump and new luxury edition model with third hump for family seating. Visit us in the heart of the mammal mile. Have you been injured by locusts? Took a frog to the face? How about drop this stone tablet on your sandaled foot? Then you need Hezekiah, Zebediah, Obadiah, and Mullins, attorneys at law. Give us a call at the stable between the Tanner's house and the Potter's house. Dial 11, that's one, one. And our friendly assistant, Mary, no, not that Mary. No, not that one, the other one. We'll direct your call. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done. Thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went, and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. singing voice. I went peace making, I went making peace with others. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh I know, 2.7 seconds. I, I know, yeah, I, I done got hoodooed into that Beatitude CD. You need to stop, seriously. I'm so humble, humble, humble. Dude, I'll, I'll give you five demerits to quit right now. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry if the blade falls off the handles, actually. Oh, yeah. All right. I tell you what, speaking of falling off, have you watched that Warrior Bunch play this year? Uh, I'm not going to say it.
I had Dan Coach, man. He don't know nothing. I think back when I played, our coach. What about you, Stash? No, uh-uh. Stay away from that now. Oh, really? Uh -uh. Yeah, just leave it. I've been trying to grow it out in them handlebars, you know, and uh, we're trying to work on that. So, you know, uh, yeah. trucks, you know. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, thing too. Uh, yeah, you got time to, hey, who does? Who, your hair is everywhere, man. Who does yours anywho? Well, it's not, I don't. It, it, you know, though, just going back to basketball, those that can't play coach. And, yeah. Those who can't learn to teach, so yeah. I just apply that philosophy to my hair care. I always said if you can't play, you probably shouldn't play. You know I what I'm saying? I think that's pretty good. You, right you, okay. you want me to, yeah. you, want, you want to trim while we're at it? Why, well, yeah, but uh, just, you know, make yeah. sure not to get it just a size. I just want the size good. Just the size. Here, how, how much was it in you? Two, two to yeah. There you go. I like it. Thank you. Just the size, man. We keep it easy. <laughs> Long hair does care. Are you really strong and have really, really long hair? Then Samson's Gym and Hair Salon is the place for you. See Obezekiah, he has no hair and he's not strong. But look, after one month at Samson's Gym and Hair Salon, look what we can do for you. Call us to set up an appointment today. Dial four, five, as in pound. Shadrach's Furnace Sales. Come by and visit us. Our furnaces are seven times hotter than the other guys. Literally. We don't bow to the competition. 20% off coupon. Use code Nebuchadnezzar eats book burnt boogers. Visit us on our website, www.fireproof.com. Hashtag, we didn't start the fire. Hashtag, these boys don't burn. Hi. I'm Sean Burgundy, and when I'm thirsty after a tough day at Church Center, I reach for a nice, lukewarm Adam and Eve's apple cider. And I know what you're thinking. Adam and Eve aren't the best decision makers. True, true. But boy, can they make a delicious drink. Think your drink is fresh? This is straight from the garden. Sure. They had a million different drinks they could have made, but apparently this is the only one that would do. At the low price of one farthing, this drink is cheap, considering all it cost. Adam and Eve's apple cider. It gives you leaves to dress in. 100% unfermented and serpent free. All right, guys, so in conclusion here, we, we hope you enjoyed those and, and hope you, you giggled a couple times at it. I'm sure you did. Didn't throw uh, the screen. If not, you need to reevaluate your humor. I think. That's right. Just kidding. Uh, but some points to take from, from those. The, the first one we talked about was not hiding your, your light under the, the bushel uh, or the basket. And so the, the moral of that was to let your light shine to everyone. That's right. That was the mustard seed. Um, and don't ever think that you're too small uh, helping God's kingdom. So I hope you take that with you. That's right. And then number four is always a big one too. It's uh, talking about um, when Jesus was looking for that lost sheep, uh, how important we all are. It's, you know, we got to be thankful to God that he was willing to leave the 90 and 9, those 99 sheep to find each of us in, in any given moment to find you that one time. Mm -hmm. And number five, remember uh, to be thankful for how much God has forgiven you, like the debtors and the credit, even though one of them, since one of them owed more, of course that person was going to be even uh, more thankful to his master for forgiving him of his debt, just like we should be thankful to God for forgiving us. That's right. Remember to give your best to God, uh, no matter what it is. Talking about the talents there, and even though one was given more than the other, uh, the five versus the two, they still both went out and, and doubled what they had and brought it back, as opposed to just hiding it. They went out and, and did what they could with what they had. 
So we hope you enjoyed today. Hope you learned something. Hope you took something from it. And had fun. I had fun too. We always have fun. We always have fun. Till next time. See you guys. See you. All right, so listen really good. Like before we leave today, we, we need to uh, kind of let you know something. Uh, it's, it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. So if you've not gotten a gift by the time you're watching this, you're drunk. Yeah, it's too late. If you enjoyed your last can before, yes. hope it was worth it. Mm -hmm. No, seriously. Uh, uh, you need to love on your moms today. People that are your moms, be good to them. We, we, me and Drew have actually got a list of things that you should not do today. Yeah, don't be mean to your siblings. Don't be mean, no arguing with your yeah. siblings. Try to like them, at least for today. Don't make any messes. Shouldn't make any messes on Mom's Day because. True. Or any day. Or, or really any day. Yeah. But try really hard today not to make any messes. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't eat burnt bur boogers. Don't eat burnt boogers. Don't eat milk and eat it. That's true. Um. I was gonna say clean up after yourself. That kind of don't make messes. Don't, don't uh, play be good listeners. Yeah. Don't make don't make mom. You know, let mom relax. Let her you know enjoy your day. Uh, all those times when you bypass dad for mom to have to go do something, yeah. hit dad up. See if he can do it for you today. I bet he can. See if you can set a record for the number of times you don't tell you love her in the back. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. What's your personal record is mine seventy eight. Uh, yeah, mine. So I mean you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, you well. need to appreciate your mom. They do a lot for you. They sacrifice a lot. They brought you into this world. They'll take you out. Yeah. They'll take you out. <laughs> I don't know if they actually would, but yeah. They might. Don't, don't test them. I don't know if they have the right. Love them. Tell them you love them. Be good to them. Give them that flower they hand them and claim it. Yeah. On the way out today, they're giving out flowers. Yeah. Tell mom that's from you. So. And if dad forgot to get her something, yeah. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers. Peace and strike. All right. Good evening, Mount Olive. Welcome to the at home, hope you first and only edition of the at home Mother's Day questions. I'm Drew Fantana. Like to welcome I'm my Sean friend Burgundy. and colleague, Sean Burgundy. There he is. He's on, on the, at Disney World there, coming to us live from Disney World. Right. The Disney only World, person Sean. here. I, it's very okay. lonely. I'm the only, only person here. I love it. It's truly a small world after all, Drew. It, it is. I'm sure it is if you're the only one there. How many times you rode Space Mountain by yourself? I listen, I am Space Mountain, baby. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you guys some uh, mothers, some questions about your mothers. So if there's more than one of you in the picture, feel free to only one of you answer or all of you answer. Or if you have a dog in the picture, Martin kids, uh, maybe you have it answer. Uh, we'll start with, I'll read the first question, Sean, and then I'll pass it along to you. Uh, on okay. my screen, the Lawson boys are first. So I'll start with the Lawson boys. Everybody else be thinking of your answer. Question number one, what is something your mom always says to you? What is something your mom always says to you? Um, do your schoolwork. I love you. Oh, okay. Do your schoolwork <laughs> and that she loves you. Two fantastic answers Let's there from the law. Let's go to this guy right here, Lincoln. Okay. Lincoln in the house. I don't see Lincoln. He's off to the side. All right, moving along to Addison. Next on my screen, Addison. Something your mom always says to you. I love you, number one. <laughs> okay. 
So apparently, Addison is the favorite child. Okay. Uh, no. Now on to the oh, excuse me. I thought you mentioned you were the favorite. No, I didn't know. Um, on to the short sister, Spencer Short. You look familiar. Yes. What is something your mom, aka my wife, always says to you, Spencer Short? Well, first thing, you don't have that kind of hair. Um, hey, hey. She, 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 she says she always says, "Clean your room, and I love you." Clean your room, and I love you. Well, yes. you all are good at half of that. <laughs> Move along to uh, Mr. Christian Bevins. It says on my screen, we've got a couple of Brett Bevins is here. Uh, Mr. Christian Bevins, what's something your mom always says to you? I love you. Mm, popular answer. I would think mm -hmm. that's true. All right. It said Brandon Bevins on my screen, but I'm thinking that's a much younger version of Brandon Bevins here in the middle of my screen. What's something that your mom always says to you? I love you. Okay, also a popular answer. Wow. Uh, moving along to the a lot of love, Sean. I mean, you'd expect so, wouldn't you? Um, the Martin boys have briefly disappeared and are back, so let's go to them. Martin boys, something your mom always says to you? Love you. Okay, just regular love you. Okay. That's it. All right, sure to tell you to pet the dog's ears or anything like that? No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Got some lag here. It's funny. Uh, moving along to, I believe, I can't see. It looks like Kiki and a young lady by the name of Pamela. Burke. Just kidding. Berkeley. Uh, Burke in the house tonight. What uh, is something that your all's mom say to you? You go first. Uh, go practice she gymnastics. Go first. Yeah. Okay, practice gymnastics. Mine always says that to me too. Go ahead, Burke. Okay. That sounded like a techno song to me. Yes, but I think well, what it was, Sean. If we will review the tape, I believe it was I Love You, possibly with something else on the end. Um, moving on Angel. down to the Sturgill Sisters. Angel. Okay. Sturgill Sisters down here. Abby and Izzy. What's up in your mind? Um, I love Abby you. Abby and Izzy. Go do that. that Go do that. Go do that. Whatever it is that needs to be done. What, do, what does mommy say to you all the time? Um, she loves me. Okay. And I love her back, but she didn't get her food. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> we were just in the pal's drive. She didn't get her food. Conditional love, we call that. That's right. <laughs> On to Ms. Bevins. The Lady of Bevins is what it says. What? I don't know if food is dependent, but okay. What? Uh, what is something your mom says to you, Ms. Bevins? Uh, you look pretty. Hmm. Okay. Not many people tell me that. Fine, though. All right, and down, the last one I've got on my screen, you all help me out and make sure I'm not leaving anybody, is Colton. Colton here. Colton, what's something your mom always says to you? You've had the longest time to think about this, so it should be the best answer. A lot of pressure for Colton. There we go. Um, stand still and take the dog out. Okay. Okay. Stand still and take the dog out. Seems like kind of counterproductive there on that, but. 
All right. It does, right. On. Uh, we, if we continue with this right, this video will be 10,000 hours long. So we may have to cut some questions out. Uh, Sean, just uh, work your way down there and pick, you, pick the next question I'd like to ask. Okay. I, I'm, I'm still going to ask number two. Number two on, on the list we have, <laughs> number two on the list, guys and gals, is what is the best – what is the best thing your mom cooks? And so first on my screen, besides Drew Fantana, we're not going to ask him. But first on my screen is Christian Bevins. Cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Cinnamon rolls. Good answer. Okay, no, next Sean, on I thought that was mine. I thought that was Zion Williamson for a minute, but it's 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 still Christian. Okay. Oh yeah, we stood up. Yeah. Next yep. on my screen is the short girls, and okay. I'm not talking about height, because your dad's definitely tall. What did you say, sir? The question what is, say? what it what is the best thing your mom cooks? Oh, we all know that it's taco salad. <laughs> taco salad. Good answer. Okay. Yes. Is, that, is that a universal answer for both sisters? Yes, it, it, it's very – It's a household favorite. 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 It's one okay. for each. Mm. Okay. All right. Moving over to my next screen, I've got that Brandon Bevins look-alike. What's your answer? What's the best thing that your mom cooks? Cinnamon rolls has already been taken. Gravy and biscuits. Ooh. We're all going to have to go to the Bevins' house for dinner, sounds like. So, uh, moving along, let's move down to Kiki and Burke. Mm. What's the answer? Let's see, you all take turns since you got two S'mores. different mamas represent. What? S'mores. 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 <laughs> Kiki, what do you say? Hmm, probably hmm, duck. Hmm. What? Duck? Junk. Junk. Oh, junk. Sorry, I thought you junk. said duck. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, well, next on my screen is the Sturgill girls. Let's move over to them and see what they've got to say. The best thing that your mom cooks. Spaghetti. Mm. Spaghetti. Good answer. Uh, I'll say steak and potatoes. Okay. All right. Next on my screen is Colton Elkins. What's the, what's your best thing your mom cooks, bud? My mom um, cooks pasta, probably. Pasta. Yeah. pasta. Okay. Next up, I've got Olivia Bevins. Steak and brownies. Steak and brownies. That's an interesting combination. Instead of meat and potatoes, it's meat and dessert. All right, Lawson boys, you're all <laughs> up. You're all on another planet back there. What's the best thing your mom cooks? Um, uh, macaroni and cheese. Um, steak and Mac macaroni and chicken and rice. Okay. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. <laughs> Chicken and rice. And soy sauce. Hey, Sean, I bet that chicken and rice. I bet that chicken and rice is out of this world. What do you bet? I bet it, it is, is too. Uh, it has ow, to be. Ow. We got we got any more answers, Carter? You got an answer back there, bud? Lincoln Carter, looks like what is your favorite food that Molly cooks? <laughs> Lincoln <laughs> Um. <laughs> Chicken and rice, I, that's my favorite dinner. Okay, chicken and rice, good answer. Moving on, we've got Addison Niece. What's the favorite dinner your mommy makes, favorite food? Um, mine is probably spaghetti or waffles. Spaghetti or waffles. Breakfast. Okay, I'm, Breakfast. okay. sounds good. And last but certainly not least on my screen is the Martin Boys. What's y'all's favorite 
food your mom makes? Pancakes. Best thing your mom? Pancakes. Mm. What do you say? Nuggets? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hudson said he doesn't know. He doesn't know. It doesn't matter, does it? It's all good. Don't buy him to feed you, Hudson. That's exactly right. Literally. <laughs> Drew, I'm, I'm a little shocked we didn't get one answer from Monterey. That's, I was thinking McDonald's might be one. Uh, good good I mean, mom cooks here in this bunch. Right, yes. Okay. All right, man, listen, I'm kicking it back over to you. What do you got? All right, I'll, I'll pick a question here. You know, uh, at some point when, when all these restrictions lift, we might want to set up some kind of royal rumble between, like, the Lawson boys and the Short Sisters and the Martins. Just a lot of – a lot of yeah. grappling on here in the back. I know. We should, we should ask those wrestlers. Um, I'm going to keep going right down the line, Sean. I, I think uh, we've got we're going to, have to cut some out at some point, but I love the next one. Should be short, quick answers. Uh, right. Magic person operating the microphones. These should be pretty quick. Um, and we're going to ask the question is, and don't there's no cheating, so don't ask her. Question is, how old is your mom? How old is your mom? We were going to go with how much does your mom weigh. I'm just kidding. We weren't going to do that. All right, so <clears throat> how old is your mom? I will start. I'm going to work backwards here. I'm going to go with Colton. Colton seems to be cheating in the background, but we'll assume he's not. Colton, how old is your mom? Go. I think she's 43. Okay. All right. 43. Young, young, 43. Moving quickly to Olivia Bevins. I wonder if the Bevins brothers will cheat off of her. How old is your mother, Olivia Bevins? 32. 32. Okay. All right. They have moved, people are moving around on my screen for some reason, so y'all make sure I don't leave any of you out. Uh, let's just do this. Bevins brothers. Bevin's brothers, do you agree that your mom's 32 or do you think she's older or younger than that? What do you think? She's 32. 32. I bet, yeah. Okay, wow. thumbs up. Thumbs up from the Bevin's brothers, 32. Okay. Um, so let's move along to, um, let's go to Addison. Addison, how old is your mother? My mommy is 38. 38. Okay, these answers are entirely too accurate for my liking. Uh, let's see if we can get a funny one here. Kiki and Burke. Kiki and Burke. Be two separate answers here. Let's see how old are your mothers. Let's start with Burke. Burke, how old is your mom? Are they still thinking here? Kiki and Burke. Sorry, the short sisters are unmuted. Kiki said her mom's 38. Okay. Burks, what about here? Okay. Tell us a number, out, Bert. Called your mom. What? Tell us a number, out. How old is mom? What? Oh, thank you, Mama. She says, Mommy's 35. How old is your mama? Okay. Yep. Younger than that. That was a joke in a mouthful play one. Yes. Let's see. Moving along here to the Martin boys. Martin boys, your turn. How old is your mom? Martin brothers. Martin brothers, how old is your mother? 32. 32. As they as they look off screen. A lot of off screen looking. Bunch of cheaters. All right. So we are now to the short sisters. Short sisters, how old is your mother? She's 39. 39. 39. Young 39. All right. Lawson boys, I believe, is the last one. Y'all help me here. Lawson boys. How old is your mother? Um, um, I think she's 35. 35, I think. 35. Or 36. 35 and 36. Yeah. Okay. That's close. It's our first unsure answer of the day, which means it may have been the only honest one, Sean. 
Um, so that went way, uh, way straighter than I expected it to be. So I'll throw it back over to you, Sean, for your next pick of questions. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump, jump down to one. So you guys listen, I want you all to complete this sentence. Okay. Mm. So I, I want think you to think we, about uh, this in your mind. I think we forgot the Sturgill girls on that last one. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the moderator, Abby, the moderator jumped in. Ooh, the moderator. Johnny Manziel. Uh, Virgil's sister, sorry. How old is your mother? I skipped across you there. I honestly don't know. Johnny, she's uh, 11. 11. <laughs> yep, I think so. She's not 11, is he? I promise you that she's not 11. She's, 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 she's not 11. Now, see, that's what we were looking for. Well that's done, right. Sergeant Sisters. I was hoping for at least like a 75 or something. But, 70. You know. Okay, now, all right, next question. I want you guys, each of you, to complete this sentence. It says, my mom is pretty, is as pretty as what? My mom is as pretty as what? And we're going to start with the short sisters, because they're first on my screen. A star. a star. Pretty as a star? Yes. Okay. All right, Christian Bevins, you're next. Your mom is as pretty as a what? Flower. Yeah. Pretty as a flower. Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Jameson Bevins, what you got next, buddy? Hang on, we ain't got you unmuted yet. Go ahead, now you got it. A rose. Pretty as a rose. Nice. These, these, kid, these kids are going to ask for some good gifts, I can tell already tell. All right. Lawson boys, what you got next? Your mom is as pretty as a what? As pretty as um, the sky? Diamonds. Diamonds. What is the sky? Diamonds? Lincoln got an answer? Lincoln, yes. what is what is mommy? Uh, what is mommy like? She's as pretty as a what? Uh, what? Uh, what is this? Wow, I eat crystal. As a crystal. All right, good answer. Okay, Sturgill Girls, you're next on my list. What my, your mom is as pretty as a what? Go ahead. Uh, as a Disney princess, say. Disney princess. Yeah. Good answer. All right. Martin boys, your mom is as pretty as a what? Hang on. Go. Emerald. Emerald. Yeah. Is that the consensus answer? We got some different answers. Her nice. As a what? <laughs> you guys answered. I don't have anything. Sky. Okay. I'm moving Sky. down to Colton Elkins. Your mom is as pretty as a what? A ruby. Ruby. Okay. What specific gems, Sean? I'm telling you, these kids have played some video games. They've been collecting some gems. Olivia Bevins, over to you. Your mom is as pretty as a what? A model. Ooh, look there. Good answer. Okay, moving over to. Oh, we've done got. We look at. We got the two niece sisters and and mine all together. Moving over to Kiki, Addison, and Bert. Your mommies are as pretty as a what? Got to hold the phone, still, uh, ladies. Quit that. Hang on. Where'd y'all go? Here. Okay. <laughs> okay. My mom is pretty as a princess. Pretty as a princess. The di at night when the Disney castle lights up and all the fireworks start going, my mom's as pretty as that. That's, did you know that's what's behind me? My mom is pretty as she's pregnant. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Did I get everybody? I hope so with that last answer. <laughs> I think we did, John, but I also let some off. Last time, so I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so we are 
We good? That yes, was, that was a good one, Sean. Good choice there. I'm going to move like right down to the next one, Sean. If, if, okay, here's the question. So, again, uh, you're going to pick something here. Um, if your mom was a cartoon character or we'll take superhero, specifically, who would she be? So if your mom was a cartoon character or a superhero, which one would she be? I will start with the Lawson boys. Cartoon or superhero for your mom? <laughs> okay, so what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> if your mom was a cartoon character or a superhero, including professional wrestlers, I'm just put that in there, uh, which one would she be? Um, she would probably be a superhero. Okay, Which give one? me one specifically. Name us one. Iron Man or something. Um, um, Superman. Supergirl. Superman. Supergirl. 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 Yes. Or Wonder Woman. Nice. Wonder Supergirl Wonder Woman. is the lost boy's answer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move down to Colton. Colton, who superhero or cartoon character? Who would your mom be? Um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, nice, well played. Olivia Bevins, superhero or cartoon character? Who would your mom be? Superhero. She'd be Superwoman because she's super. Nice, nice. We are on now to Christian Bevins. Christian Bevins. What superhero or cartoon character would your mom be? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Good choice. Good choice. Sturgill Sisters. What do you got? Uh, we say Wonder Woman. No, I say. Okay, Wonder you can say it. Go. Wonder okay. Woman. Wonder Woman. Agreed, Izzy. All right, Jameson Bevins, what do you got? Your mom as a cartoon character or superhero? Minnie Mouse. Ooh, Minnie Mouse. Nice. Mm -hmm. okay. Short Sisters, Short Sisters, if your mom was a superhero or cartoon character, what would she be? Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman, popular choice. Whoever said that first, congratulations. Martin Brothers, superhero. Or cartoon character, or wrestler. Or cartoon character. Yeah, I'm looking for a cartoon character. What do you say? Cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. I, thought cat, I, thought, I thought I heard cat in the hat, too. Okay. Be a good reader. Okay. All right. Uh, we are down to the trio of, of, of cousins here, Addison and Kiki and Burke. If your mothers were superheroes or cartoon characters, what who would they be? Um, Pluto. Pluto. <laughs> yep, for sure. Mine is Cinderella. Oh my gosh, Cinderella. we exactly have the same thing. <laughs> you did the Cinderella too? So Double mine is Cinderella, Cinderella because my mom is pretty as a princess. My mom is, I said mine was cool, was pretty as a princess. Well, so I, actually, I changed my answer. All right. Okay, uh -oh, can she, you looks like, you? she looks like Ariel. Oh, Ariel. Okay. Ariel. Okay. Sure, there we go. All right. So speaking of superheroes, the Lawsons have changed their background. Um, so I'll throw it back to you, Sean, for the next, okay. next question. Ne next question we've got. Everybody, need everybody listen. Here you go. You got to think about this. What makes your mom happy? What makes your mom happy? We're going to start with the short sisters. A warm blanket and a warm hug. <laughs> a warm blanket and a warm hug. Good. Okay. All right, Christian Bevins, I'm going to move over to you next. What makes your mom happy? TV. What did you say? Did you say TV? Yeah. Okay. Good answer. 
We all need that. Okay, I'm moving over to the Lawson boys. And yes, they changed their background. Hang on. What makes your mom happy? Uh, I agree. To give her a cookie. Um, to give her a cookie. Um, okay. Um, for us getting done with our school, for Lincoln getting done with his schoolwork because he always cries and he doesn't want to do it and it takes him two hours to get done with one word. Okay. <laughs> so that makes her happy. Makes her happy. And a hug. Um, and her phone. And her phone. Okay. I like it. Colt Milkins, I'm going to move over to you. What makes your mom happy? When I do what she says. When you do what she says. I, I, listen, I got some advice for that. I'll make a lot of wives happy one day, too. Um, well played, Jameson, Be Jameson Bevins, I'm moving up to you, buddy. What makes your mom happy? When she runs. When she runs. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. All right, I'm moving over to the Martin boys have done gone sideways on us here. That wouldn't be the first time. Um, Martin boys, what makes your mom happy? Uh, being spending time with us and and working. And what? Spending time with them and working. I like it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Olivia Bevins, I'm moving over to you. What makes your mom happy? Me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, good answer. I'm I'm moving up to the cousin trio again of Kiki, Addison, and Burke. What makes your mom's happy? Go, Kiki. Um, when she tells us to go outside, and when she um. <laughs> Um, when she um yep. goes to run with her friends. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. It's when um we're, we're happy when her kid when her kids are happy. Mom's happy when the kids are happy. Okay, Addison. Okay, my turn. Spending time with her kids, taking a nice hot <laughs> bath, and then getting her her bed and washing. And binge watching shows like When Calls the Heart and Outlander. Okay. And I'm going to move over to the Sturgill girls. What makes your mom happy? Uh, Disney World when we're at Disney. Roller coasters. Okay. Roller coasters and Disney World. All right. Did I get everybody, Drew? I think I did. I think so, Sean. I, 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 believe I think you, so. I, I think you got to go. I think you got to do number eleven next, man. Number eleven. I think so. Uh, I was waiting to see how we're doing on time here. Um, maybe do eleven and twelve, Sean, if you want to end on twelve. Uh, but eleven says right along, kind of the opposite of that one is going to be what makes your mom sad. We just answered what makes your mom happy. What makes your mom sad? My guess we'll is take, most of these answers will have something to do with the dad and the family problem. Maybe. Uh, we, we, could, we could even incorporate mad in there with sad, too. Oh, yes. Sad or mad or just upset in general. Let's go. I'm going to start with the Martin boys this time. Martin boys, what is something that no, makes no. your mom sad? Or mad. I think she gets something that she doesn't or get mad. in the first day. He's Again, Martin boys, what, what was it? Um, when we played WWE. Mm. So, every, so all day, every day. And, and him, him, him blew my nose, and that one him uh, get mad. <laughs> well, he said to pick his nose, but I may have just made that up in my own head. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, moving along to Olivia Bevins, going across the bottom of my screen here. Uh, something that makes your mom sad or mad? This makes her mad when she's watching TV and they keep on meeting her. 
I think I heard something about when you watch TV and keeps interrupting. Yes, interrupting TV, I believe, was the answer. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Good. That's, that's, that's true. All right. Uh, Jameson Bevan, something else that makes your mom sad or mad? When we fight. When you fight. That's true. It's the ultimate answer for moms. Good answer. Bevins is are kind of at a disadvantage here. They have to come up with multiple different answers. They're doing a good job, though. Uh, let's yeah. go to the cousin trio. Cousin trio. Uh, Kiki first. Kiki, something that makes your mom sad. Oh, here. Um, I have two things. Okay. All right. My favorite one is when we don't listen to them. Sure. And then my next one is when my sister always um, watches her iPod and has her AirPods in and don't listen to my mom and dad. Listen, Sean, anytime you can work in okay, a, a nudge to your sister during an answer, well played. I mean, she, she answered the question yeah. and got her sister in trouble all at once. Yeah, bus. Okay, now Good. I'm adding something to my answer since you said Okay, that. hang on. Okay. I have one answer. We'll go to Berkeley in the middle. Berkeley. Okay. Berkeley, what sad. is something that makes your mom sad or mad? Well, when we get hurt, it makes her sad. When you get hurt, that's, I agree. Okay. Okay. Addison, give me your, so nine, give me your nine part essay here. What? <laughs> when. Go ahead. When it makes my mom sad is when Kiki and I fight. Like she gets sad because we can't get along. Oh, I know. <laughs> and when she gets mad is when we don't listen to her and talk back. Mm, <laughs> okay. Yeah. True story. Okay. Uh, True story. I have kind of got distracted there, Sean. I believe I am at Colton. Colton, something that makes your mom sad or mad? When I rage on Xbox. Mmm. Xbox raging. Okay. Um, or raging against the machine for you 90s oh. people out there. Uh, the Sturgill girls here. Sturgill girls, something that makes your mother sad or mad. When we scream at each other. Mm. Yep. Um, okay. When I pick on her because she picks on me. All right. Good job sliding that last part in there. All right, Christian Bevins, what is something that makes your mom sad or mad? When it's raining. When it's raining. When it's, mm, okay. uh, short sisters, short sisters, what is something that makes your mom sad or mad? When she walks in, in a room and we, and we don't clean our room up. When she walks in the room, mm. she's a mess. Oh, <laughs> every day. Because yep. you can you can clean this room. <laughs> That's the short sisters. The Lawsons. Lawson brothers. Something that makes your mom sad or mad. Um probably when I yell too loud when I'm playing Fortnite on my Xbox. When we don't do schoolwork and we get hurt. And um, I don't know what else. Um, okay. when we, uh, when her food is mixed up mm. and she doesn't get it. That's a good mm. answer. Very good answer. Well, the general theme that, that, Sean, was, uh, that was sibling fighting, I believe, was the general theme of, of that. Yes. We can all agree. I think we've got some Cain and Abel and Jacob and Esau going on here. Mm. Biblical. Yeah. All right, so we'll throw it back to Sean. Uh, let's see, you want to do uh, one more question there, Sean, or you want to keep going? Yeah. What do you think? 
We'll, we'll do, we're going to do, all right, listen, guys, we're going to do one last question. But here's the deal. Mm. On this question, we can't have any repeat answers. So once somebody says the word, nobody else, you got you to come up with something new. Okay, no repeat answers. Got no it? repeat answers? No repeat answers on this one. No repeat answers? No repeat answers. None? None. Absolutely okay. none. Right, Here's the question. Here's the question. How much do you love your mom? Ooh. How much do you love your mom? I, I asked it a couple times so you can start thinking right quick. And so I'm going to start with Olivia Bevins. Ooh, okay. Ooh. See, I knew she was good one to start with. Mm. Okay. I'm going I'm going Lawson Brothers next. How much do you guys love your mom? Um, as much. Uh, okay, we love her to heaven back, heaven back, heaven back, heaven back, heaven back. Heaven back. Nah. We don't got to have it in I love her this big. Okay. All right, we'll take that. We'll, we'll take an estimation. as big as Lincoln's arms. Yep. That's right. As big as Lincoln's arm span. Mm -hmm. Bevins Brothers, since you're now in the same picture, we're going to move to you guys. How much do you love your mom? We've already got an arm estimation, and we've got it to heaven in the back. So what do you guys got for us? A lot? Infinity and beyond. Infinity. We thought we got to look at our boys. We got a buzz light your reference. We thought we My heart's melting. That's right. Colton Elkins, you're next on my screen. How much do you love your mom? I love her. I'm as big as the world. As big as the world. Okay. All right. I'm coming over here. Let's go to the cousin trio. Kiki, Burke, and Addison. Remember I'm now, no, for, no duplicate I'm answers. I'm going no first to infinity and beyond. We've already got it to infinity and beyond. What? Yes, it happened. I didn't hear it. Well, then, it, the entire it. universe. The entire universe. That's big. That's big love. I didn't. All right, who's going it. next between you three? It's better. Which? Who's going next, Burke or Kiki? He, out of this world. Out of this world. Okay. Mm. Kiki. I have two. Okay. So L O V E. I like a hundred L O V E's, and then to was all the way to Disney World. That's pretty good ways. Okay. Yeah, more to the bad, the one. Yep. That's how much I love it. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm, I'm moving down to the Martin boys. How much do you boys love your mom? As much as a cat loves cream. As much as a cat loves cream. Well, boys, ain't y'all just country. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I, I don't need, uh oh, we got another one. Hang on, little Martin got something to say. A hot and a cat a hot. I thought y'all might say as much as the Red Sox. <laughs> Hang on, moving on, moving on. Let's move over to the Sturgill girls. How much do you love your mom? Well, when we stop fighting, she loves her. No, how much do you love her? Like, where do you love her coming back? Mm. How much do you love her? I love her to the home. To the moon. To the moon, okay. Now I gotta think of something else because this is the seventh time someone has said the thing that I've got. That's true. Right. That's true. Uh, I love my mom to the end of a rainbow and back. End of the rainbow and back. Nice. Okay, moving over to the short girls. How much do you love your mom? We love her so much, no one even knows. We have so much, we nobody knows. Nobody even knows. No. Okay. 
Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Brett, did I, I mean, Drew, did I get everybody? Well, <laughs> I, I think so, Sean. Uh, seems like everybody answered that question. Uh, looking around here, I was I hoping for to say that? I love you 3,000. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was waiting on, too. I love you 3,000. I guess we don't have a bunch of Marvel fans. Yeah, it's fine. Well, yeah. okay, do we want to we want to ask another question? Are we good? I think Hannah is probably know what. We're about I, I 50 think. minutes in here. Okay. Had a, had a request here from the hotline. Uh, maybe to say something to your mom. Hopefully your mom will watch this. Of course, if she's watched this at this point, she's watched about an hour of shenanigans from, from us and from us, Sean. So good for her. Maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's end with... Um, We'll do, we'll do telling us about your mom. Uh, tell us something in like one line about your mom. And then what we'll do, Sean, we'll end in prayer at the end okay. of it, okay? If that's Sounds okay good. with everybody. So what we're going to do, we'll go each one of you here and just tell us something about your mom, whatever you want to tell us, okay? All right, let's go. Uh, we'll start short sisters this time. Short sisters, tell us something about your mom. Um, she, she's just nice. She loves us and she's very nice. She loves us and she's very nice. I would agree with both of those things. Uh, let's go to the Lawson boys. Something about your mom, Lawson boys, quickly. Are they still with us? Still, still, still muted. <laughs> There we go. Um, she is the best cook, and um, well, she works out like almost every morning. Hmm. And um, uh, don't mess with food. Up. Food and working out. I like half of that. Um. Bevan's brothers, Bevan's brothers, tell us something about your mom. Great teacher. Mm, okay. All right. Great mom. She's a great mom. She bought you that Zion Williamson shirt. She must be. Uh, moving along to the Sturgill sisters, tell us something about your mom, Sturgill sisters. Uh, she loves Disney a lot. Okay. And Izzy left, so. And Izzy left, okay. We, we so we have to go meet her pals. She had uh, enough. Pals. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Colton, tell us something about your mom. Um, she's cool. She's cool. Okay. Mom's cool. Well said. Short point. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the cousin video because who knows how long that'll take. Let's go to Olivia Bevins here for something about your mom. She loves running, cooking, and sleeping. Hmm. Okay. Sounds good. And the Martin brothers. Martin brothers, tell me something about your mom. She is the best in the world. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Yes, her does love you. Her does love you. Her does love you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I believe the last one here will be the cousin trio of yes, Kiki, oh, Berkeley, okay. and Addison. Let's start with Addison this time. Addison, Kiki, you go, tell us something well, about Addison, your mom. I gotta start first. Um, she's the best mom in the universe. She's so mm. sweet, so kind, and so loving. Okay, my turn. Uh, <laughs> um, she's the best mom I could ever have. Okay. I'll tell again. Okay, go Kiki. So, Kiki has two. She's oh, yeah. the best mom because she has a baby in her belly. And she she is the best mom because she has a wheel baby. And me. And me. And me. 
I feel like Speed Q is just shooting from the hip there, Sean. She she set herself up yeah. by saying two, but she really didn't have she, she bailed herself out there though. She did. Well, guys, I, I think that's the end of questions. We really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. You guys were awesome. I think that your moms will enjoy that. And um, Sean, would you like to close us out in prayer here before we go? Sure. Be glad to. Um, let's everybody kind of bow our heads right quick. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we thank you for your day you've given to us. Thank you, Lord, for this time that you've allowed all of us to be together. Lord, as family of Mount Olive, talk about how amazing moms are. God, I thank you for these kids, and I pray your blessings, your favor, and your anointing to be upon each and every one of them. God, shape them and mold them, Lord, and I just pray for their parents that you speak into them. God, that the future church would arise. We thank you and love you this day, Lord. Have your way in our lives, we pray, for we ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Great job, guys. Had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, you got to listen to mom all weekend long. It's her weekend.